With this video, we'll be talking about the research process. A research project's requirements can be very different from class to class, but the basic steps of the research process are the same, so it's good to know them. Step 1. Choose a researchable topic for your paper or project. Your first step is to decide what you want your research topic to be, and make sure that it is something specific, but not too narrow. We will cover this more in a different video. Step 2. Where do I look? Databases. You can find the research guide for the subject of the course you are doing your research project in by going to the research guides box on the home page, finding your school, and then the subject. On that guide, you'll see which databases or other sites are recommended for use for research projects in that subject. Step 3. How do I search? Keywords. You want to figure out which keywords within your topic will help you find the articles that will work for you, and how you should phrase your search. Step 4. How to get it. Find the resource. Next, you'll actually get the resource. This could mean getting the book off the shelf using the call number. It could also be as simple as downloading the article's PDF from the library, or it could mean that you'll have to order it from interlibrary loan. Step 5. Is what I've found any good? Evaluate. Once you've found your source, you want to make sure that it is relevant to your topic and that the information that appears within it is credible. And finally, step 6. Write paper, project, proposal, poster, or speech. So in theory, that is how the research process works. In reality, Sometimes it will look a bit different, and that's okay. Sometimes you may pick your topic, say, educational television and preschoolers, and after you've figured out where to search and what terms to use, you realize a lot of the articles that you find interesting are more concerned with the electronic devices that children are using rather than only the content they are viewing. So you go back and add that to your topic. That means when you restart your search, you'll be changing the keywords you're using. Then maybe after you get your sources and evaluate them and start to write, you realize that there is an aspect to your topic that you're missing, like what children's access to broadband internet is. So you go back to your search terms and change them to find articles including that information before you move back to writing the paper. This is normal and a part of doing research whether you are a freshman, senior, or even professor. But if you get frustrated or confused, remember that you can always go back to the previous step and make any changes that you need to. With any hiccups along the way, remember the library is here to help.